Okay, so welcome back to part four of this tutorial. Uh, so the last place we left off in the other video is we'd created the billboard wrapper and filled it with this background gradient and then stretched it all the way along by using the background repeat property. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a div inside for the for the content. So let's let's get on with it. So if we go to source, so what we need to do inside of the billboard wrapper is we need to create a div with the ID of billboard content. Space it out nicely so we can read it. Add the closing comment so we know which div it belongs to. Okay, so now we've created the div, we need to create the style the style for it so we'll put it just underneath billboard wrapper so we call it billboard content and then for this we're going to give it a width of 1000 pixels we're going to give it a height Okay, so we're going to give it a width of 1000 pixels. We need to give it a height of 367 pixels. That's the height of the image we created and repeated. And then we also want this particular div to be centre in the page, no matter what size the, the width of the page is. So we'll use the margin 0 auto, 0 auto. So the top will be 0. The right will be auto, the bottom will be zero, and the left will be auto. Save that. Go back to our master page. Go back to the design view. And as you can see now, we've got a, a brand new div in the center, which lines up with the div just above for the header. Okay, so the next stage, if we go back to our Photoshop design, is we've created, we've created the top up here. We've created the billboard background. We'll fill that content in later. And we now need to create this white main area. But if you look closely at the design, if we just zoom in, you can actually see there's a gradient on this one as well. So we'll have to take a, a copy of this as an image and we'll do the same again and repeat it all the way along the top. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we need to create the, the main content div area. So if we go back to Visual Web, De Web Developer, and if we go back to design view and then we want to come just underneath the billboard wrapper and we want to create another div with an ID and we'll call this main content wrapper close out the div add on our closing comment like so. So what we want to do, we want to style this first of all. So if we take a copy of that, go to our style sheet, just underneath here, we'll create main content wrapper. And for this we want it to be width 100%. And for the height, we want this to be auto, so it will expand and contract with the content inside of it. Okay, so now we've created that, we need to go back to Photoshop and actually now grab the, the image that we need. So looking at this, it's this, con it's this gradient here. So if we grab our crop tool, bring down a slice of it like that. So we've now made our selection. Zoom in a little. Okay, so if we press enter on that, we've now got our little slice. 
Now if we do file, save for web and devices. Now if we save it as a GIF and click save, it's now going to ask us where to save it. So I'm going to save it into our images folder and structure. And we'll call this main content BG for background. Click save. And that's that done. If we now edit, step backward. So we're styling the main content wrapper. We're giving it a width of 100%, so it stretches across the whole of the screen. The height, I'll give it 500 now, just so we can see how the image is going to look. This background is obviously the image we just created from Photoshop with the gradient, and we're repeating it across the X axis. So if I save that, go back to the master page, and you can now see we need to have a gradient in the main content area. So if I just preview that in a browser, It might be hard to see on the, the screen capture, but there definitely is a gradient background underneath the, the billboard area here. So that seems to be working. So if we stop debugging. Okay, so now we know that that image is working correctly. What we need to do is go back into the style sheet and change this property here from 500 to auto. So what that will do, it will expand the contract with the contents inside of the div. So if we now go back to the master page, as you can see now it's shrunk down to a small size and you can't see the image. It's still there, but you just can't see it. So what we're going to do next is go to the source and inside of our wrapper, we're going to create another div with an ID of main content. And if we, we put the closing statement on that one as well. So main content. So if we now copy this and go back to our style sheet, just under our wrapper, if we create another one, main content. Okay, so we're, we're going to style this main content div area. So I'm just going to copy and paste in the code just to save a bit of time. Okay, so the width of the main content is going to be 1000 pixels. The height I've actually set to auto, but I've given it a minimum height of 300 just so we can see how things will look. The, the margin has got zero auto, zero auto to keep it in the center of the page. And I've given it a background color of black just to illustrate that it is actually working. If we go to the master page and go to design view, as you can see, that is no way 300 pixels minimum height. I'm not sure if it's a bug with Visual Web Developer, but if we actually preview this in a browser, you will actually see it does give you the minimum height and there you go that's our minimum height of our main content div so if we close this stop debugging go back to our style sheet and we're going to remove the background color black because we don't need that save that and if we now go back to our Photoshop PSD So we've got this area, what we haven't done just yet, if I zoom in, again as you can see here the designers used a one pixel border and another one pixel border. So what we'll do is if we zoom in a bit, like so, and if we grab the eyedropper tool, click on that, and it will give us our colour over here. That's the colour we need for our bottom border on the billboard. So if we cancel that, go back over to Visual Web Developer. So we want this one here, so the billboard wrapper. If I just paste that bit of code there for a second. Copy this. So ours is border bottom this time. Pick our code back up there and paste it in just there. So now it's going to be border bottom of that colour which is like a dark grey solid one pixel. So if we save that, go back to our design, we now need to put a one pixel border, a one pixel white border on the top of our main content wrapper. So if we now go back over here, 
So our main content wrapper, we may as well just grab that one and stick that on the end. So border top, it's going to be white, solid and one pixel. If we now preview this in a browser, and as you can see now, that's you can actually see the one pixel line there and just slightly the, the one pixel white border as well. Okay, so if we come out of that, stop debugging, go back to our Photoshop design, if we just zoom out a bit. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is the footer. So if we just zoom in and see what that's all about. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a, a bit of a shade here on the top. If we just zoom in a little bit more. And we've got this one pixel grey border on the bottom. So if we do the one pixel border first, so if we grab our eyedropper tool, click on the line, and this is the colour that we need. So if we copy that, go back to Visual Web Developer, click on our style sheet. So our main content wrapper, so it's the bottom border, so if we just paste that there, grab this bit of code from the billboard wrapper, pick our colour back up and then paste it in place, like so. If we now go back over here, preview in a browser, and you can now see we've got the line there, so we now just need to create the footer div to go underneath, and we've nearly got the layout, and we just need to add the content into the design. So that's the end of this tutorial for now, I'll be releasing the next uh, video straight after this one.